What's going on everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. I know it's been a little bit guys, but I am back with another review and another video. So stay tuned for the pair of shoes that I have coming up. All right, everybody, if you are new here, please go like, subscribe and comment so we can converse a little bit about shoes. To all my returning subscribers, I surely appreciate you guys very, very much. And uh, let's keep the channel growing as we move forward into 2021. So without further ado, let's get into the pair of shoes. All right, guys, and my favorite part about this pair of shoes that we have here is the box. And you can see this is a Jordan 1 box, but it is not your traditional Jordan 1 box, as you would see behind me in the black and red. This one is in white and with metallic purple, and you guys can see that in the ring light. It is extremely shiny, and I think that, that is a really, really dope and clean box. Okay, so let's open this up and see what pair of shoes we have. Fire. All right, guys, as you probably guessed by the box, we have here the Air Jordan 1 OG Highs in the metallic purple or court purple colorway. Um, a lot of people have been calling these court purple. I really think it's metallic purple. And you can see that around this shiny accents on the shoe in that purple color. Now, this is not gonna be a long review because this is a pretty simple shoe, but just a quick uh, history. This is one of the original colorways that came out of the Air Jordan 1 back in 1985, and they are retroing it now, which I think is really dope. So, one of the original colorways of the Jordan 1 back in 1985 when they came out. are not in my size these are actually in my wife's size so an eight and a half in women's and so i'm hoping she likes these and will rock these for summer because these are definitely a really nice summer shoe but you will see that this is primarily an all white leather upper so white leather on your toe box on your mid panels heel counter and ankle collar but you will see the nice accents of purple so the metallic purple swoosh metallic purple around your ankle collar and then also the, the purple sock liner on the interior here. I do need to mention the purple wings logo here on the outer half of the shoe and also your purple outsole. And the last hit of purple that you get on this pair of shoes is gonna be on the tongue right here with that Nike Air branding in purple. Now this shoe does have standard flat white laces, but you also have a pair, as you can see here, of purple laces that they added in. So you could add that purple for a pop of color if you so chose. Something else to note is that the interior of the shoe, so the sock liner and also the back of the tongue are in a purple satin uh, material. So this is really, really smooth. This is not leather and it is not just typical canvas but it is a nice satin material that feels pretty plushy around your ankle. Something else that's slightly different about this shoe is that the tongue is made out of all leather. Most Jordan 1 tongues are made out of canvas. I have my pair of University Blue Ones here and you guys can see that this tongue is made out of canvas. Really, I just want any excuse to add these University Blue Ones into any video. So here you go, feast your eyes because these are gorgeous. And really guys, that's about it for this pair of shoes. I just wanted to do a quick review. I do want to talk really quick about resale for these because there is none. If you guys want a Jordan 1 for retail, uh, you can go buy these on StockX for essentially retail. Now obviously you're gonna to have to pay the fees, but if you want a Jordan 1 for retail, go and buy these. These are sitting right about 170, 180, and that's about what they retailed. So uh, very cheap, very nice summer shoe. Um, for me, I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10. Um, I think a Jordan 1 in general already starts with a base of at least 5 points out of 10. Um, and I would do a 6 out of 10 for these, given that it's the summertime and that you could definitely rock these anytime during the summer because they are super, super clean. I do not see these going up in price for a while. So if you are holding these to try to resell them, probably not a good idea you're probably gonna have to hold these at least a year, at least a year 
for these to go up in value and for you to make some money off of them. Um, I just don't think that there is enough demand for this shoe. And I also don't think because it is a women's exclusive um, and that it doesn't get to the full size range of a men's pair of Jordan 1s, uh, that really hurts this pair of shoes as well. So I really think if you're trying to hold these to resell them, not a good idea. Um, you should go ahead and either return them to the Nike store or, I mean, go ahead and rock them because you're not going to make much money off of them anytime soon. So I would hold them until at least next year to think that you would make any money on them whatsoever. Anyway, guys, I surely appreciate you all for tuning in really quick to take a look at this pair of Jordan 1 Metallic Purples. I think these are really nice. And, oh, I hope that makes the blooper real, but um, these are really nice and I hope my wife likes them because I think that these are clean and I think she would look cute in them. So wifey, if you're watching this, you look cute in everything, but I think you'd look cute in these. All right. So anyway, once again, I appreciate you guys. Please stay safe, stay blessed. We will see you soon and peace out.